Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our Great Engine Attack series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler. I'm afraid that Leela Fan should turn away now because we're having a look at a lovely attack played by Stockfish against Leela in the TCC Season 24 Super Final. The opening was a rather dodgy Grunfeld and uh, Leela sort of limped out to this position. Um, had to give up the exchange but some active pieces got the uh, the two bishops of course um the queen is annoyingly attacking the uh, the rook on e1 and this rook on b2 is active so it's not doesn't feel completely hopeless for uh, for black but here stockfish uh, uh took the opportunity to display its um uh incredible tactical talent um starting with the move rook takes h7 this one's uh, not too difficult to spot. As soon as you see it, you want to play it. King h7, queen takes f7 check. Who wouldn't want that? But it's not 100% clear for um, for white, simply because this this rook on e1 is uh, is restricted. And uh, you sort of feel that that rook does need to get into the game in order to um, uh, to really finish off the, the black position. And it's not really clear how it's going to happen. Um, the one thing that you can realise straight away is that um, black's only really got one defence here. Um, if you go back to h8, then knight g5 is is very, very powerful. Um, I go bishop g7 uh, to uh, to block the mate on h7, and then bishop c4, and I'm threatening rook e8 check and d6 as well, you know, queen g6. Just so many good moves for, um, uh, for white here. So um, king h8 isn't great. If I go king h6... Then, well, the g-pawn's going to come into play, and we see this a lot here. Just uh, g4, threatening g5 check, and, uh, well, the game won't last long. Um, yeah, this one was quite nice, actually, as well. But after bishop g7, uh, dragon wanted to play uh, queen g8, and then just threatening g5 check again. You know, just uh, really horrible, horrible, horrible for um, for black. So Leela played uh, bishop g7, and now this is the, the really subtle part, subtle part really. Um, I mean, I, I sort of assumed that, um, you know, obviously Stockfish had, uh, had chosen the best way of uh, finishing off the attack. But I sort of assumed that other moves like knight g5 or bishop d3 would be enough for a clear advantage, for example. Uh, that, that, would be, uh, that would be good enough. But it, it just seems basically that, you know, running the engine games that uh, actually, you know, once uh, Stockfish has launched itself on this attack, it's more or less finding only moves, you know, for uh, a number of moves, which is, you know, really quite impressive. And uh, this move is um, is an absolutely gorgeous one. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, White's idea is to play King G2 and Rook H1 and uh, mate the Black King on the H file. But yeah, this Queen on A5 is attacking that Rook on E1. So, you know, King G2 is not going to happen straight away. So, I mean, actually, this G3 move, it's, um, it's uh, sort of an, an investment for the future, really. You know, just saying, well, you know, if ever I manage to do something with this Rook on E1, then I'll be able to move my King. Um, yeah, these are the sort of moves that, um, you know, human players do see them, but, um, you know, they're, they're sort of very, it's very hard to, um, uh, to really believe them somehow because every quiet move like this um, has a huge calculating premium on you. I mean, you have to, uh, to look at all manner of, uh, of defences. So, uh, yeah, always very difficult to convince yourself about that. I think the other thing that uh, makes things a little bit difficult is that you, you do notice that you're opening yourself up to a bishop h3 check when the king moves away and then the queen takes on e1 so that does make you also very nervous as well however as the stockfish uh, saw um it's not very easy to exploit um i mean the first move that i looked at was to play knight e5 here looks very natural attack the queen threaten bishop h3 check but here why it's got the lovely um knight g5 check King h6 and now queen g8. This is really, really nice. Um, so actually this knight is covering the h3 square. So bishop h3 is impossible. And well, I've, I've actually got a number of threats. So I've, queen h7 check is, uh, is, uh, is one, you know, threatening queen h4 and then queen f4 checkmate. Another useful point of this pawn on g3, providing uh, nice squares for the queen. Alternatively, something like f4, you know, just uh, protects the knight and threatens queen h7. And if you go king g5, I've just got to be a little bit careful there. Queen takes c8, and then um, f4 check is coming in, and, uh, you know, black's just in, in massive trouble. This this king is just uh, absolutely awful. So knight e5 is not really doing it. Um, 
yeah um apart from that what do you really want to do i mean queen d8 um is uh, is another idea you know just uh, bring the queen back start challenging that uh, that white queen seems like a good idea but now of course you're no longer attacking the e1 rook so i can just go king g2 and this rook is going to come round to h1 so Leela played um, probably the best defense here. It's also the defense that uh, both Komodo and Stockfish, they play, you know, um, uh, when you, you get set from the, uh, the initial position there. Um, so they played knight f8. So um, yeah, covering h7, blocking the eighth rank, still opening up the bishop to, uh, to h3 here. Knight g5 check, king h6. Um, king h8 is, uh, is possible as well. But we go bishop c4 here. And um, yeah, it's one of those positions. I mean, obviously, we're threatening d6 and queen g8 check. So you've got to chase the queen away. And then we go queen f4. But yeah, you know, again, white's just got way too many possibilities here. I mean, uh, rook e8 is uh, one possibility. d6 is another, you know, with uh, queen h4 check coming in. If the queen moves from a5, king g2, rook h1, it, it's just too much, really. And, uh, you know, these black pieces... Uh, and not really doing anything at all. So um, um, king h8 is too dangerous. So Leela played king h6, and now it gets really quite beautiful. Um, queen f4 played. And uh, I mean, I suppose the you know the weird thing about uh, you know these uh, these attacks is that they they all feel quite slow, really. You know, you always feel well, does, shouldn't you know shouldn't uh, uh, black have have you know some time to do something? Um, but um, yeah, somehow he never really seems to. I mean, obviously, one big threat at the moment is Queen H4 checkmate. That's uh, you've got to watch out for that. So Black has to do something along the fourth rank, um, you know, to try and stop the um, uh, the Queen from getting there. Um, I mean, Queen B4 was the, the the move I thought thought of first of all. But um, here, White just plays Bishop C4, nice little block. Um, also, then activating the uh, the Rook as well. And, uh, well, I mean, the engines find some uh, some interesting desperate defences. Bishop f6 takes. We take this one with check. I go king g1 to avoid um, uh, to avoid um, uh, a check on d5. I mean, I'm threatening knight f7 check now, followed by uh, mate, wherever you want to do it. And after queen d4, uh, we've got this little idea, which is uh, knight f7 check, king h7. And now, uh, for example, rook e5. And uh, we're just blocking the queen and we're threatening uh, queen h8 checkmate here. And uh, the best that uh, the engines could come up with was queen f2 giving up material. But obviously, you know, white's just completely winning there. So queen b4 is not going to cut it. So rook b4 was what all the engines wanted. And now just a quiet move from white, queen e3. And uh, yeah, you know... This, these are the, are the kind of, uh, of difficult moves, you know, because you're not really, you're never really sure as a, as a human player here, you know, can I really get away with that? But yeah, it does seem that you really can. Actually, one, I mean, one of the great things about, uh, or great drawbacks to rook b4 is that the queen's no longer attacking e1. So now king g2 and rook h1 is once again a huge threat. And that sort of explains why um, uh, Leela played the next move, rook d4, just opening up the line of the queen again again trying to get this uh, keep this king uh, uh, under wraps but all the same king g2 and that was the this was the move that when i when i just uh, you know played through the game i uh, i did a double take i had to say huh oh what what why why is this rook not hanging and then ah because after queen takes e1 it's not that you're mating it's just that white plays knight f3 check Discovered attack on the uh, on the king and then just picking up the queen. Always very difficult those sort of um, attacks where you, um, you you you're you're really mixing all the time um, a mate against the opponent's king and winning material like this because um, yeah it's a big switch of context. I mean generally when you're attacking um, you know you just want to go for it straight linear you know uh, I'm I'm after one thing and one thing only. If you start having to mix motifs. You know, sometimes winning material, sometimes mating. It always gets more complicated, and uh, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, it always means that you've got to you've got to start looking at more defensive possibilities, as well as evaluating that you know positions where you're uh, you're going to to win back some of the material are, are are good enough really. Here it's not difficult, but yeah, you know, it can be more difficult than that. Well, Leela played the move uh, bishop f6, just giving the king some uh, some room to escape from the rook. 
And now, um, yeah, just a, a, a very nice um, uh, finish here. It was uh, 94 check, King G7, takes, takes. And then Queen E8, again, you know, a reasonably quiet move. I mean, uh, OK, it's attacking the uh, um, the knight on um, on F8. Um, but it's not like, you know, it, it's not it's not totally at, uh, you know, the black king somehow. And uh, it doesn't yet feel as if all of white's pieces are coordinating against the black king. And uh, well, there's something even uh, even bigger here. It's that uh, um, the uh, the rook is actually hanging. And uh, yeah, this is a little bit. It fe feels a little bit mysterious somehow because uh, you see, you know the first time you look at it, it's not 100% obvious to you why on earth white should have a, a mating attack. You know, after all, yeah, you know, I don't have that many pieces uh, involved. But of course, again, it's that old thing. It's uh, half a mating attack half winning material because um, we just go queen takes f8 the king's very very restricted if you go king g5 then I've got f4 and again this pawn on g3 uh, proving to be absolutely brilliant supporting the queen and uh, delivering mate and uh, and actually the king surprisingly enough has very very few squares here so uh, e5 is the only one basically queen e7 check um, king takes d5 and now just a little bit of care required bishop f3 would allow rook e4 which would not be a clever thing to allow but um, bishop c4 check um, discovers an attack of the queen on the queen on e1 so many of those little ideas and after king c4 queen takes c1 well white is just completely winning here um so um yeah i mean black's got rook and bishop but um yeah with all these weak pawns and uh the king open to checks from the white queen it's uh you know it's sort of quite obvious that um that white's going to be picking up quite a few pawns along the way i mean obviously in a blitz finish you'd be uh you'd always be a little bit nervous that you're not going to miss something and let the c pawn run but uh yeah longer time controls i think uh, you'd always be very confident of uh, of winning this somehow and uh, obviously Stockfish made no mistake. That was a really nice attack, actually. And uh, as I said, you know, the um, uh, it's, I always find these attacks very impressive where you um, um, where you combine it's you sort of, uh, you know, you, your speed, the speed of the attack seems to seems to uh, to vary somehow as you're attacking. You know, you've got the uh, the incredible violence of Rook takes H7 and then you've got this, uh, you know, very delicate move G3 just um uh, preparing for the future king g2 rook h1 and uh, just understanding that um that black you know has has some time but just not the means to um to really create any damage or um or disrupt the white position too much and uh, when the silicon road chess improvement i, I devoted a, a whole chapter to uh, to this phenomenon i called it attacking rhythm and there was a, a fantastic game uh, of uh, of stockfish against uh, houdini in actual fact where uh, yeah again stockfish was mixing up this um you know these uh, these violent attacks exchange sacrifices double exchange sacrifices um with these quiet consolidating moves, you know, just stopping the Black Queen from invading, and uh, very, very impressive. And this is uh, actually quite similar. And uh, yeah, you know, just uh, also like very much, you know, this whole uh, this whole motif really of um, uh, the um, uh, the King leaving this rook undefended, and uh, White coming up with all sorts of ways to um, to pick up the Queen. You know, first of all. Uh, um after uh here after king g2 after queen e1 knight f3 check uh, that's just a discovered attack and then winning the queen with the knight and then of course in the main line just this uh this move with uh, uh a sequence of checks and then a discovered attack there really great play from uh from stockfish and uh yeah just uh um yeah, one of the reasons why uh, uh, Stockfish is uh, leading this super final and looks like it's going to pick up the win in the end. Although, uh, yeah, it's been a lovely uh, close match in actual fact. Really good to see uh, Leela getting closer. And, uh, well, fingers crossed that, uh, yeah, you know, the next uh, few super finals from here are going to be even more thrilling. All right, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you like the video, why not give a like, subscribe to the channel, tell a friend. Have a look at my new course, The Silicon Road to Chess Improvement, now out on Chessable. And otherwise, thanks very much for watching and hope to see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.